Thanks to a recent update, it's now possible to crop video using the InShot video editor. Stick around and I'll show you how. I'll be using some new content for this tutorial provided by Dean Nimmin. If you're a YouTuber and you want to use content posted by other creators, you must get their permission first. This will help you avoid copyright claims or copyright strikes that might be assigned to you by YouTube's content ID system. Recently, I was in one of Dee's live streams where he answered one of my questions and then commented on something I said in chat. So I asked him for permission to take those clips using the screen recording feature built into iOS and use them in some of my future tutorials. So keep an eye out for these clips. The first thing I'm going to do is open the InShot app and start a new video project. I'll tap on video and then tap on new. Remember that the canvas settings apply to an entire video and not just an individual clip. So if you're going to be cropping a bunch of clips, combine them in one project, crop them, render them out, put them in another project, and then split them apart as needed. This will make the cropping process easier. I've combined two clips that I'm going to crop at the same time. I'll select my clip and add it to the project. InShot remembers the settings of the last project you were working on. That's why you see this frame. I'm going to tap on canvas and then tap on no frame to remove it so that I'm working with just my video. Then I'll tap on the check mark and go back to the main timeline. Whenever I load a clip, I'd like to play the clip for a bit first. Next question comes from Mike to make sure that I'm working with the right clip. This is the right clip. I'll swipe over on the toolbar and you'll see a new icon labeled crop. If you tap on it, you'll be able to crop videos in two different ways. You can select a frame. Because I'm going to be uploading this video clip to YouTube, I'll select 16 by 9. And then I'll just take my video and slide it down by long pressing and dragging it down so that the part of the video I want to show on the screen appears between the four white corners. Then I'll tap on the check mark. The video is now cropped. You can also manually adjust the crop handles. If I tap on the undo arrow, my video will be reset to its original size. Then I'll tap on crop once more. And this time I'll drag the crop handles on the bottom up so that they're surrounding just the video clip. The size of the video will adjust as you do this. Take your time to make sure you get it just right. When I'm done, I'll tap on the check mark. I like to select my frame after I crop videos so that I can be sure that all my clips are cropped correctly. Now that my video is cropped, I can export it. I'll just tap on the share icon from the upper right hand corner. Then I'll tap on save and the export will begin. Don't interrupt the export in any way or you'll have to do it again because the video may not export properly. Once the export is finished, you can find the completed clip inside your camera roll. It should be the last thing that you recorded. The export is finished. Let's take a look at the final clip to see how D pronounces my last name. It's a pretty difficult one to pronounce, but he does a great job. Next question comes from Mike Makaish. Man, I know I nailed that name one time, and uh, I hope I remembered how to say it right. Um, it says, I use LumaFusion to make my thumbnails, but they are not high resolution. According to TubeBuddy, can you help me with that? Okay, so what you're doing is you're taking a screen grab outside of LumaFusion, and you're building something on top of that and saving it out that way. In order to get a high resolution tag, I would focus on trying to export an image that is 1920 by 1080. Now, all of my thumbnails, uh, well, let's say 98% of my thumbnails go up as 1920 by 1080. 
So when you're taking that screenshot and you're building it, you might not be saving it out at the actual full size, or it might be shrinking it down. I haven't tried to build a thumbnail inside of LumaFusion, so I'm not exactly sure, but you wanna make sure that the, when it's finished exporting, it's 1920 by 1080. Mike's come in and says, I want to be known for iOS app tutorials and simple video editing tutorials. Boom, right there. That's it. There you go. Right, that's very specific. So Mike here, he knows exactly what he wants to be known for. And if you go to his channel, he's making videos specifically for that. He's got videos on LumaFusion. He's got videos on VideoLeap, right? He's got videos on InShot. Not just videos, he's got an entire playlist. Like that's what he wants to be known for. So he's knocking out those videos so he can be known as that. I mean, it's a process, man. It takes a while, as, as Mike knows, you know? But that's, he's got it dialed in. He knows who he's talking to. He knows his audience is iOS users. He knows it's iOS users who want to learn how to edit video. Very dialed in audience there. That's super important. Thanks for the encouragement, Dee. It's nice to hear. If you've got questions or comments, put them below. And remember to make your editing software work for you and not the other way around. To see more of my tutorials, check out the links in the description below. There's an entire playlist with more great InShot tutorials. You can also check out the recommended videos that'll appear on the end screen shortly.